Ah, uh, nerds. Stay there. I'll be right back. So late. <sighs> What's up? 5.53 p.m. Which I didn't realize until I looked down at the phone. Someone called me and then obviously it was the wrong number. But they called me, I sent them the voicemail, and then they called again so I could send them the voicemail again. But both times I hung up. It's like, I guess you were really sure about that phone number, so you had to try it again. But I think it was like a number that nobody knows about. I have a Google Voice number. When they started doing Google Voice, uh, way back when, I got one of the first invites. And so I claimed a phone number, and then I never used it. And it exists. So if you want to call me, good luck. I had a dentist appointment today. Can you tell? See my teeth look especially white? All the ones you can see. Gosh, they're out of alignment. I have one fang, and one fang is ground down, so it's not a fang anymore. But apparently, I bit my tongue at some point because they're like, I'm concerned about those flats. Did you bite your tongue? I was like, hmm, maybe. So we think you bit your tongue, but we want you to keep a look at those spots and make sure that they heal and go away because if they stay there, then we need to get a biopsy. What? Tom cancer? Is that possible? Can you imagine? I don't even think... Um, I can't remember where they are, so I can't show them to you. Hopefully they've already gone away, because it's the healing. Let the healing begin! It's 73 degrees. At 1 a.m. last night, in Minneapolis, well, in the part of Minneapolis right outside my house, it was 85. Shouldn't be 85 at 1 a.m. That makes it very hard to sleep, especially when you have to be up early for an early meeting. Press the company T-shirt. Am I showing you this one? This one actually came from like the Verisign thing. Can you see there it is. It's like it's not even a real semantic shirt. It's a Norton shirt. God forbid anybody says Veritas, but you can say Norton all day. I would never disparage the fine company paying my salary. Especially with the stock above 15. Pain's above 15, but still. Alright, so finally, I made a trip to Walgreens uh, last night for the sole purpose of buying candy. These are American Smarties. Oh man, this must have been. What's the first thing you want to do after you have a dance appointment? This is a total coincidence, by the way, but buy some teeth rotting, almost pure sugar, mmm, smarties. So they're like little tiny uh, candies. I show this to you because I want to eat them. Also because I have the Canadian smarties, and I said I wasn't going to eat those until I had the comparison. Ah, uh, ah, uh, mmm, mmm, I can feel it leaching away, the enamel in my teeth, even as we speak. It's actually, mmm, oh man, I haven't had these in forever. Usually I get a bag about this size, not going to last for three years. Wow, coincidentally, these are best by 2015. So I guess they don't go stale. Unless they can be even longer than three years. Here we have Smarties, the last Canadian junk food item from James's package. Now, these are chocolate, right? In fact, they're just. Aren't they kind of like M&M's, except Canadian? They're totally like M&M's.
kind of natural flavors, Saburas Naturalis. And they sponsor an American football league in Canada. Figure that out. Hmm. So, aside from being wild colors, they don't taste different, right? They're just m ms Except that M&M's. Well, I can see why they won't sell here. I don't think you'd want to try competing with m ms Hershey's has enough of a problem with uh, Reese's Pieces. Is it a freshman state? I don't know. It says 2013. It also has a bunch of letters nearby. I don't know. Oh. About halfway through this thing. I'm trying to cross them out. They're, they're so good. Another great thing about going to Walgreens is you get to expose yourself to their new brand. What is their new brand? Nice! I ate these already. This was actually this was lunch. They're also good until 2013. I don't know. Sesame sticks have a shelf life. They also have clever phrases. Open sesame. Get it? Open sesame. Ha 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 ha! What a new Ah. So, um. I want to show you 111 because that's the lowest number of uh, segments possible for a three-digit number, at least. So take that in. Also, this is the MP4 format. That's how many I had left. I love these. I'm so glad Kim bought them for me. The other problem is now I want two more sets, so I will have 66 segments instead of 22, and then I can put messages with them in addition to having the number of the episode next to it. No indication that uh, my parents watched yesterday's uh, episode. No indication that they didn't. I'm killing time while I go to Facebook to see if anybody said anything. I want to say somebody did. Nope. Oh, yeah. Amy. A different Amy. I know like six or seven Amy's. Amy uh, Baxter who spent just enough time in the South to develop an opinion, said, boiled peanuts are gross. Trust me on this. I do trust you. I have had boiled peanuts before, and I seem to recall them being gross. But I have 24 cans of them, and I really need to open one and try it and uh, confirm it. But I also think maybe it's something you get used to. Well, like I said, definitely afraid that I will develop a taste for them, and then suddenly find that I have to go to Amazon and get the six-pound coffee can of them or something like that. Sometime this summer, I will try the boiled peanuts, and we will have a boiled peanuts report. In fact, David Reagan tweeted today about spending some time with the peanut patch people, and I start to think, peanut patch people, peanut patch people, peanut patch people, that there may be another contest down the road. They may be filling your own adjective enough try it again. And I'll be there, baby. Oh, yes. I will enter. Oh, I've been here too long. Even if I did step out for an hour to go see a dentist. Early meetings are killer. So, expect a very late episode tomorrow, as I show up very late. We'll see. I've been so busy. Uh, my time is up. I will say, there's a rant I did on Twitter, and it confused the heck of a lot of you. I don't know why. It's pretty obvious I'm talking about Mr. Lagana and IWantWrestling.com, but now everyone's going, oh, yeah. Except for people who have no idea what I'm talking about, and you are fortunate to not know what I'm talking about. But that is all. I will talk to you uh, tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. I should be here. Won't you be here as well? Thank you. This is CRZ.